Sure. Cool. Oh, are you doing likes or? Yeah. Uh, Marvel Legends. Yeah. I bought a carton in the airport. Before yeah, they're over. they're really cheap here, right? Or uh, well, I haven't bought any cigars here in Europe yet, but no. uh, in the states, apparently in Philadelphia, there was a tax enacted while we've been gone. Oh, really? It's already two dollars more a pack. Oh. So I got these. I got a carton of these at the airport in Philly for forty bucks, which oh. is great. Totally great. Like, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah four dollars yeah. a pack compared to like six fifty. Yeah, that's, so I that's, that's like a lot bucks. cheaper than here. Like I heard, they're like ten pounds in the UK. So. Yeah, they just went up to like nine something, and yeah, they're not, they just raised cigarette tax in Philadelphia, where we're from. So, I have to get their taxes somewhere. Okay. I bruised my knuckle this morning, man. Doing what? When I was fucking, when we both went into the uh, thing at the same time, the, the dryer. Oh shit. Yeah, I bruised Sorry. my knuckle. Sorry. Were you guys doing your own long week today? We did, we, of, yeah, today, uh, uh, yesterday we had a day off, so this morning we had a little bit of time, so we could okay. drink some yeah. After the UK, we had a little bit of uh, some dirty, uh, some I, dirty I, wash. I, I can't imagine, <laughs> I can't imagine. <laughs> Had yeah. to wander the filth of the UK. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, I Mainland Europe is much cleaner. Yeah, so. yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, I didn't want to smell bad. No, no, no. no. <laughs> I can imagine. How's, how's Europe treating you for like the rest of the tour so far? Like you usually, uh, you mainly did the UK, right? Or? Yeah, the, this is our first time in Europe, and uh, we just uh, we just arrived in mainland yesterday, and everything has been incredible uh, so I, far, except for the broken. Toy machine here in Belgium. Uh, there was, yeah, the defective toy machine. Not that we really play with toy machines, but uh, you know, I, I like to see things functioning and yeah. working properly. You know? <laughs> was that the, the, gi the giant bummer on this tour so far? Uh, there's been no bummers. Yeah, no, so we we had a lot of fun so far. Oh, that's cool to hear because like uh, I hear like uh, that a lot of bands that tour around the UK that get their fans broken into and stuff like that, but oh, none cool. of that for you. Or <laughs> No, we have we have no no problems, but uh, Anka, our driver, is very. She's really on top of everything. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah, yeah. She's our bud, yeah, man. Yeah. She's keeps she the show on the road. Great. Can we give a shout out to Anka. Like yeah. Maybe in the video. Hey, Anka. She's What's really up? Big ups to Anka. You're in the next room. Yeah. Hi. <laughs> Okay, um, maybe let's do a little recap on what the fest, I'll write a review later and put some pictures on. But uh, during your show there was like this weird voodoo, voodoo poll going on in the crowd, like what was up with that? I like, mean, the, yeah, the voodoo oh, poll. Oh, the other night? Yeah, when you were preaching. I don't know, I got up, I got up and there was this weird fucking stick with like a hat on it and shit hanging off of it. I don't know, I mean. I almost thought it was Scott, our old guitar player, at a yeah. quick moment's glance. Yeah. <laughs> I, uh, I don't know, I picked it up and did a little chant with it and then yeah. threw it to the uh, It got destroyed the fairly quickly. Yeah. Yep. Uh, does that happen off, often at your shows? Oh yeah, like we always, people out. always give you us voodoo sticks at our shows. <laughs> That's actually the it's second like weird voodoo thing. stick we've ever gotten. Though. Really? I, I was no, given a, kidding. I was <laughs> given a voodoo stick in Detroit one time. Uh, so that's the second one we've got, and I still have the one from Detroit. It's in Dasco's basement, I believe. <laughs> okay, and you're not even joking right now. I'm not even joking. Oh. It looked when I used to have my dreads, it looked exactly like me. That's why I kept it. <laughs> oh, that's pretty cool actually. <laughs> to talk new record I guess um, great stuff thank I, you. I really like thank it you. thank you um, very, very much 
the artwork is done by someone who's called Steak Mountain. Steak Mountain. Yeah, he's done stuff for like against me before, and even yep. uh, I saw um, what's this rapper called again, Macklemore. Like how did Steak how they, Mountain do stuff for Macklemore? Yeah, he did a split with someone, and he, that guy did a split with Macklemore, and that was like he did the cover for Weird. it. Maybe oh, it's shit, I didn't know about that. I knew he did Seven Steak Degrees problems. of Macklemore. Yeah. I guess I don't know. Yeah, I knew he did uh, Combat Wounded Veteran. Uh, yeah, and I knew about against me. I didn't know he did anything from Macklemore. Yeah, I think Macklemore is horrible, okay. quite frankly. <laughs> uh, but that's just me. I think that guy's all hype. But uh, you know, he did all that Macklemore right now. <laughs> <laughs> Are you guys rap fans or? I'm I'm a hip hop fan for sure. Uh, but uh, it's normally like some older school shit, like okay. uh, like Illmatic, like a lot of older Nas stuff, like uh, some yeah. earlier Jay Z material. That's really cool. I like ASAP Rock. I like MF Doom, <laughs> like stuff like that. Closer to home, uh, Buddy Liesel. Shout out to Buddy Liesel, okay. Philadelphia. Buddy Liesel. But, uh, <laughs> oh man, it's giving me shout outs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Proper shout outs right now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, my dude Stitches. Oh, RIP man. Jeezy. Come on. <laughs> That's really cool. How did you get to uh, like Steak Mountain for the artwork? Well, really, we just, what happened was uh, I think we just uh, kind of emailed him and expressed okay. interest. And uh, he was interested too. We were just like, well, this is cool. And like his style has always been like kind of something that's like, it's a little bit eccentric and off the wall. Yeah, yeah. And we're a little bit eccentric and off the wall. So I feel as though that's a uh, you feel like good uh, match made in heaven almost. Yeah, you, know? you feel like it completely expresses the vibe you want to bring Oh, to he, he and, nailed it. He yeah. nailed it like 100%. Okay, cool. had to change your band name and choose something food related what would it be food related yeah food related like steak mountain or maybe uh -oh. Ch uh, change our band name to be something food related you don't have to do it like but just like uh, yeah oh. uh, uh, uh. <laughs> i'm glad we don't have to really do it <laughs> yeah, yeah that's Thanks. really good yeah like, um, food is not really our strong point or beer related beer related beer related, beer -related uh we talked about uh, brewing a beer called the Holy Messenger. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that would be pretty cool. No, but we, I don't know, fuck. Uh, that's, a, that's a strange question, really. Uh, I'm uh, sorry for yeah, that one. Yeah, we're not really into food. <laughs> Although the food here tonight was great. It was yeah, great. Yeah, yeah. What did you have? Uh, uh, it was a little bit of chicken, a little bit of steamed vegetables, and uh, you had the potatoes, correct? I did, they were great. Yeah. Yeah. Stick to your ribs kind of, stick Delicious. to your ribs kind of cuisine here. All in right. Nice. You guys actually had a better dinner than me. And yeah. I what did you have? Uh, I had like uh, a cheese sandwich. And oh, never, that's cool. Never I, mind. Never I've mind. literally been eating that shit for like a whole week so the food, far. The it's food like the first the UK meal I've had. Pretty rough. Uh, so yeah, the food in the UK. I, well, I don't recommend it. Let's be fair. We only fucking ate at like gas stations for like the last week, <laughs> so we can't. We can really sample the cuisine, <laughs> so to speak. But uh, I did have some nice uh, Flothman sandwiches. <laughs> Every day, I had some prawns uh, oh, the last day, and dude. Uh, only on Jeff's dare though, and it was uh, mediocre. At best. We woke up kind of hungover, and I dared him to eat a prawn and mayo sandwich. Oh fuck no! I ate that. He on did. My last day in the UK, and it was horrible. He I, did it. I did it. He liked it. it. You liked it? Oh okay. No, it, was, it was something <laughs> to eat. No, it, I was hungover. It was something to eat. So it, it, oh. it got the job done for sure. Yeah. Okay. That and a bag of crisps. Uh, yeah, actually, that was the same meal I had the same day, I think. Okay. Five, five pounds, right? Yeah, yeah. Awesome. I gained okay. five pounds on that meal. <laughs> <laughs> Is that a pound in your pocket or are you just happy to see me? <laughs> <laughs> but what was the worst thing you ate? Worst thing I ate? Bronze and mayo. Bronze and mayo, dude. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> Fuck bronze and mayo. Yeah.
Okay, so the new songs. Uh, I love how honest the lyrics are, but there's always like a kind of a dark side to it. Like, where does that come from? Well, the thing about it is we live, uh, I mean, I suppose if you want to break it down, like, uh, <laughs> despite like, you know, having fun here on tour and doing all yeah. the other stuff, like when we're at home, you know, we're working shitty jobs. Like, you know, sometimes you go through shitty relationships. Like I've, I've been through a divorce. So there's like a lot of stuff where it's just like, you know, we have a lot of fun, but at the same time, if we're gonna keep having fun and keep being happy dudes, we have to get rid of like those like negative emotions and negative aspects of stuff. So it's kind of almost like, I guess it's kind of like keeping a journal in a way, okay. but except we write songs about it instead. I mean, Jeff, can you weigh in on that? Yeah, I mean, I've, I've had a pretty weird fucking life, so I, I just kind of write about, you know, like honest things, like what, you know, I, I write about kind of like what has happened to me or, you know, real things, so. It's pretty cool, man. Yeah, I think we all need to let the negative emotions go. Something. Thanks. Okay. Um, is Spencer Reed the best song you've ever written? Uh, I wouldn't say it's the best song I've ever written. I mean, that's a, it's very uh, circumstantial and situational as far as like, especially even with songs that like I've written, is just like it depends on the time. And it depends. It's almost like you know how if you want to listen to a record, a certain a certain record will put you in a certain mood. Oh, like yeah. certain songs of ours, like on a certain day, I might want to play something like a mood you're. Uh, yeah, like to communicate how I'm feeling. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like that day. So it's like, yeah, it changes by the day, really. Okay, so. that's cool. Oh, thank, thank you, thank you very yeah. much. I, I, it's actually my favorite song of the year so far. So. Uh, Cool. Oh, man, that's high praise. Thank you. Song of the year. Song of the year, man. Cheers to you, man. You wrote it. Hey, fuck. Um. I just got my first tattoo this weekend. Um, you guys all have tattoos, I saw in the pictures. Yeah. Um, can we discuss your first tattoos? Uh, what were your first tattoos? My first, I mean, I have too many layers on right now, but the first okay. tattoo I ever got was uh, my ex-girlfriend of many, many, many years ago. Uh, it was on my 18th birthday. I wanted to get tattooed from the time I was 14. Okay. And I went to a shop in the Poconos in Tannersville. I forget the name of it now. I think it might have been like, get the point or get the ink like some yeah. shitty some shitty tattoo spot and she bought me my first tattoo it's actually on this arm and it's like it's of a uh, I was always into like science fiction like fantasy kind of stuff and it's actually a thing called the Spriggan it's a, a kind of like a uh, little like fairy goblin creature and it's like perched uh -huh. on a uh, perched on a crystal ball on a pile of skulls <laughs> like I don't know uh, kind of nerdy but uh, ah, that sounds yeah cool I wish I could show story. it to you it's kind of cold out here okay but, but that's the, that's the general gist of it no, I'll keep an eye on, on it for <laughs> the, the, during the show and yes yeah. uh, I get I mean this is my first tattoo it's I got a, it's like kind of a fucked up story behind it I mean if you really uh, talk yeah, about yeah, depressing shit like. all right I mean so I got this on my hand uh, when I was like 16 I was in school still and um, I uh, went after school with uh, two of my friends named Megan and Curtis, and uh, we just went to some dude's house, got these tattoos. Two weeks later, uh, actually fucking watched her die in a field because she got hit by a car, and I was just standing there while the paramedics tried to revive her. Didn't work, so, you know, this tattoo has like a little more like weird meaning behind it, but yeah, I mean, that's my first tattoo, you know? I'm sorry about So, that. yeah, so. Sorry to bring the mood down, yeah. but you asked. I, I, I feel kind of bad for um, continuing with my stupid. Oh, go ahead, go ahead. No. Yeah. Oh, it's fine. Oh, okay. Um, do you have any tattoos you regret or? Never. Never. Every, uh, at least for me, uh, every tattoo I have is like, I started off trying to get like I got a whole sleeve and everything of like, 
tattoos that like were probably not the most meaningful things, but like yeah. I just wanted to have tattoos and like that kind of stuff. And then a after I had a bunch of good tattoos is when I could start getting shitty tattoos. Yeah. And all my shitty tattoos are more meaningful than my good tattoos. Yeah, like I like, wanted Joe Godino's phone number. Yeah. I have the very first Nezuko's tattoo ever, ever. Here, I'll show this uh, almost. That's awesome. Almost the first one. This is the very first Nezuko's tattoo. <laughs> okay. That's Joe Godino's phone number. Oh yeah, is get it, that in there. Is that still his phone number? That's still yeah. his phone number to this okay. day. If anybody wants to call Joe Godino, <laughs> that's his phone number right there. It's uh, for just for the camera. It's five seven zero. That's awesome. Fuck. And and he's gonna. He's gonna, <laughs> he's gonna kill us. Whatever. I'm kind of drunk. <laughs> Wow, he's not great. Yeah, he's, uh, he doesn't know. Okay. And do you have any regrets or tattoo yeah. regret? Nah. Not really. Okay. Cool. That's the way it should be. Yeah. Okay. Um, some of my last. I mean, I have shitty. I have some shitty tattoos, but I don't. <laughs> oh, I, yeah. I don't really regret them. So. Okay. I think Jeff has a heart on his ass for sure. <laughs> I do have a heart on my ass. Really? You you have have a, a, I got yeah, a heart on my butt. Are you gonna show that one or two? I mean, uh, that's it's probably out there somewhere. Nah, okay. <laughs> you know, yeah. Just leave that old girl to the yeah. imagination. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we'll, so. we'll, we'll save you from that. Okay, one of my last questions. Um, you guys are one of the most active bands on Twitter, like ever. Um, you as a total experts, name five bands that we definitely have to follow and stuff. And like, oh, Jesus. Who do you want to follow on Twitter? They're uh, funny and... I mean, uh, if we can't just do bands, I mean, if nobody's following Bad Sandwich, like uh, Ryan Kelly on Twitter right yeah, now, like, you're just fucking up. How many dick shows does he make each day? <laughs> Uh, per capita? I don't know how many dick jokes Brendan Kelly can make per capita. But I'd say definitely Bad Sandwich. Uh, I, know, I don't know. I mean, to be per per uh, personally honest with you, I don't actually have a Twitter myself. Really? Yeah, so I, I, I only get to see things like when I go look for them. Okay. So Yasko's our Twitter man. Yeah, Yasko's our Twitter, Twitter man. And he's, he's ah, a tiny dude. Okay. So. I do know. I do. I mean, like. Wolf Puppy and Tom Hank are two great fucking <laughs> Twitter accounts. I don't know. As far as bands go, I mean, I don't know. I don't really like get into Twitter that much. Okay. So. There's, okay. there's, there's an Australian dude named Russell Tate that we follow, and he's pretty. Oh, that he's dude pretty is. Gnarly. Okay. That so, dude's weird yeah, too. Yeah. He's not. He's not a band guy. Yeah. He's, not he's guy. just some fucking guy. Well, he's just some bugging from the Kimberley. <laughs> <laughs> we'll check it out. Kicks anyway. around Darwin. You know what I mean? Mate? <laughs> <laughs> Do you guys ever make fun of the Smith Street Band's accent? We uh, well, we've been like, kind of. Learning some slang and things like that uh, from him. Um, I think Bosman told me to uh, get a dog up me. <laughs> things like that. I don't know. We're trying to uh, trying to learn the ways of the Australian. I heard about the shoeys and the maps of Tassie. Yeah, yeah. So there's yeah, there's a few things we're learning. You know, it's more of a learning experience than anything. Okay, cool. Yeah.
last questions. Um, so this is almost Halloween, and you guys are like American. Like, uh, if you could dress up for one thing this Halloween, what would it be? I can dress up as something this Halloween. I used to have a really cool Jesus Christ costume. Ah, that's awesome. But I've always thought that it'd be cooler to, instead of wear that costume at Halloween, it'd be funnier to wear that costume on Easter Sunday <laughs> and show up at Mass, like at like a Catholic Mass, in a Jesus Christ costume. Because I feel as though that would be like, you know, it'd kind of, you know, I'd really see the acceptance yeah. of the church, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like if a guy can really look in like Jesus before he's even supposed to rise up. That would be the best thing the ever. The preemptive rising. <laughs> <laughs> the dove, yeah. the dove of peace. Yeah, I don't know, Jeff. What would you dress up as? Uh, I don't know. Probably uh, Glenn Danzig because we're playing with the misfits. <laughs> I would uh, resurrect him from the dead. I think you have to gain a few, but <laughs> yeah, I might. Uh, uh, question about Anka I'm giving her a shout out, so maybe we can give her another shout out. Dude, Anka, thank you so much, girl. You've been taking such good care of us, and. Uh, yeah, okay. Thank you so uh, very yeah, much. Yeah, dude, no problem. Yeah. Thanks a lot. Thank you guys so much. Really looking forward to the show. Yeah, nice to meet you guys. Yeah.